Welcome back to the bench. Today we have an unboxing. I don't usually do unboxing videos, but this is something a bit special. Um, for those who follow me on Twitter, you would have seen me post a picture of this a few days ago, or a week ago, depending on how long it takes me to get the video out. Uh, so without further ado, let's get this open. Used a big enough box. And that is certainly well packed. Hopefully, there's a few eBay sellers on there watching this and could learn a lesson or two on how to pack something properly. This really is well packed. I think this is probably the most well-packed eBay item I've ever seen. Even wrapped it in brown paper. And now we got that out of the way to the main event. One very, very, very dirty A500 Plus. It's even worse than what it looked like in the photos. In fact, I'm going to take a photo of it on my phone to post as a thumbnail. Let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay, my favorite manufacturer of low cost PCBs from CNC machining, 3D printing, and sheet metal fabrication, right through to PCB fabrication and assembly, they've got you covered. They can also do injection moldings. Sign up as a new member and receive a $5 welcome bonus. There is a link to their website in the video description where you can check out the amazing services they have to offer. Now back to the bench. Wow, this is dirty. It looks like it's been underwater. Um, judging by the rust on the bottom, which you'll see in a second. Yeah, surprisingly, most of the keys seem to move. The F8 key is broken. There's two missing there, four missing here. I don't put much hope out for the membrane. But this is an Amiga 500 Plus. Sadly, there's a bit of damage to the badge. I was hoping there wasn't going to be any damage to that, but yeah, there is. But yeah, this thing is filthy. I feel like I should be wearing a hazmat suit just to touch this thing. So, without further ado, let's see what the other side looks like. So, yeah. You can see there's definitely signs of rust. Yeah, there's corrosion on the shield. So I wouldn't mind betting if this one has been, was one of the, uh, from last year's floods, that it was uh, underwater and that somebody has uh, pulled it out and it, it came from, I think it came from an e-waste place by looking by the, the, the sender's address. Somebody's definitely been in here, to whether, whether that was open before, and then somebody took a look. Yeah, all these on the back are completely rusted to hell. Well, let's get her open. The burning question is, what does it look like on the inside? And is there any, battery damage because famously these suffered from battery damage because they had a 
NICAD battery on the PCB, the 3000s and the 4000s and the 2000s. Let's see what the main board looks like. Is it going to be full of mud inside? Yes, yeah, pity the, the covers are missing. It's on so many of these old machines. Oh, it is broken here. That was on the picture. Knew about that already. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. And this is, yeah, rusted to hell. broken off as it is on so many of these things but I can clean that up and in fact it might have been me that just broke that then yeah yeah the keyboard's definitely in rough shape I don't think there's any salvage in that although I probably have a spare keyboard I don't know it might be salvageable but it depends I don't think the membrane's going to be any good on that but you never know This is uh, yeah, bad. Yeah, so this has definitely been off before. It wasn't even put on there properly. Let's see. Definitely won't be reusing the shield. That's for sure. in this, these ones are missing, there we go, that's open, that's open, okay, is the battery there or did somebody do us a favour ages ago and take it out, no it's there and it's leaked, which is unsurprising, see from the RF shielding that that is completely rotted away yeah and the, looks like the PCB is, is completely knackered on this thing there is a lot of damage so this must have spent some time underwater that uh, battery corrosion has spread far and wide It looks like the, the rust from the shielding is, unless it's leaked and then dropped down and rode along here, which is entirely possible. So let's get this off. Any chance of saving that drive? I mean, it could have just been kept in a damp place, but yeah, I think the rust would have done some serious damage to it. putting any floppy disks in this type in this thing anytime soon. I 
I can hear the rust running down. That screw just sheared off. The end of it's still inside there. It was clearly in a wet place for a very long time. Definitely in water for some time. Ah, good job my tetanus shot is up to date. It's leaked and the water's help to it spread further across the board because yeah, there's corrosion all down here, along up here. Uh, so I don't think that's from the water itself. I think. It just helped the battery juice get further and further apart. So, yeah, that's a shame. It might be salvageable. It might not be. Uh, depends how much of this solder mask I have to remove as well. The underside of the board seems to be you know, reasonably okay. Obviously, the rust has caused some problems here, but the rest around here is pretty clean. Yeah, I dented that in there, but it's no great loss. I think that port has pretty much had it anyway. I don't think there's any salvaging that. Yeah. Pretty much all the all the ports are gone on this. They they need replacing. They're too far too far rusted to be salvaged. I think I paid about eighty euros for this plus shipping. So I mean, as long as the uh, I mean things like the Agnes chip and the Denise chip, um, just those two chips alone you would pay that more than that just to get those two chips so uh, it's not like I'm actually losing any money on this um, you know, the spare parts you know the chips uh, would certain even the, even the uh, the CIA's here they go 20 30 euros each these days so even if it's just for spare parts for the custom chips um, then you know it's obviously uh, worth it. Uh, what version of uh, oh version two point zero four of Kickstart? Our uh, sixty eight thousand in good condition. Obviously that's going to be the high res Denise. So yeah, eighty three seventy three R four PD. Ooh. Looks like there's a little bit of corrosion maybe on the contacts of uh, Denise, um, Fat Agnes there, so we'll make sure we get that cleaned up. And let's just pop that out now and see what it looks like. So you get the old girl out there, out of there. We'll see what she looks like. that's probably just something that's or maybe something dripped on it and it's smart at the top let me just check with my goggles so I can see better
Yeah, it's a little bit of something that's, uh, see that? Something's just dripped on there and gone down. But it hasn't really caused any kind of damage. Just a bit of discoloration to the, uh, it looks like maybe some kind of oil, I don't know. But yeah, as long as this chip works, then you know, it's a winner. So I'll go away, I will neutralize this with some vinegar. Um, because yeah, it's although they call it battery acid, it's actually an alkaline, so you can neutralize it with an acid. Uh, it's pretty furry on these chips around here, it seems to be the worst of it's concentrated around this area here, and then it's just spread out sadly. If you like this uh, video, um, then give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified and leave it down in the comments um, whether you want to see me uh, try and restore the board to its former glory or whether I should just scrap it and uh, cut my losses and yeah recover the custom chips. As always thank you for watching.